The diagram below shows one cycle of a circular function. The amplitude, period and range of this function are respectively. The graph of this function shown is either a sine or a cosine function. The amplitude is then going to be the distance from the center line, also known as the mean position, to its maximum or minimum point. The mean position of this graph is the line y is equal to 1. And so the amplitude is going to be the maximum value, which is 4, minus the mean position, which is 1. And so this is going to be 3. The function starts when x is equal to 0 and it completes one full cycle when x is equal to 4. This means the period is going to be 4. The range of this function is from its lowest value to its highest value. Its lowest value is minus 2 and its highest value is 4. And so giving us the answer option E for this question. Consider the graph of the function defined by f where f of x equals sine 2x. The square of the length of the line segment joining the points on the graph for which x equals pi on 4 and x equals 3 pi on 4 is? The length of a line segment joining two points is found using the distance formula, which is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. The square of the length is then going to be the distance squared. And so the distance squared is going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. x1 and x2 will be the x-coordinates of the two points and y1 and y2 will be the corresponding y-values. And so we can say that the first point is going to have the coordinates pi on 4 and f of pi on 4. And the second point is going to have the coordinates 3 pi on 4 and f of 3 pi on 4. And so if we let this be x1 and y1, this one x2 and y2, then the square of the length is going to be x2 minus x1 squared, so that's 3 pi on 4 minus pi on 4 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So that's f of 3 pi on 4 minus f of pi on 4 all squared. And using the calculator, we can work this out. First, let's define f of x. And so, working out the square of the length, this is going to be 3 pi on 4 minus pi on 4 all squared plus f of 3 pi on 4. minus f of pi on 4. All squared. Combining this into one term, this is equal to pi squared plus 16 on 4, giving us the answer option A for this question. The graph of y equals 10 ax, where a is a real positive number, has a vertical asymptote x equals 3 pi and has exactly one x-intercept in the region from 0 to 3 pi, not inclusive. The value of a is, to find the value of a, you can approach this question algebraically, which gets tricky, or we can answer this question using the graphing tool and trial and error, which is the quicker and easier option. Using the calculator, 
we can graph the function y is equal to 10 ax and test for which of these a values the graph will have one x-intercept in the region from 0 to 3 pi. Making sure that we are in radians mode, we want to sketch the graph of y equals 10 ax when a is equal to 1 on 6, the first option. And so we say given that a is equal to 1 on 6. You can also draw the line x is equal to 3 pi to visually see where the vertical asymptote is. When a is equal to 1 on 6, there is one x-intercept at 0, 0. But this is outside the region we're given. And there's a vertical asymptote at 3 pi. Looking at the second option, when a is equal to 1 on 3, the function doesn't have a vertical asymptote at 3 pi, and there's no x-intercepts in this given region. Looking at the third option, when a is equal to a half, we can see that the function has a vertical asymptote at 3 pi and there is one x-intercept between 0 and 3 pi and we're not including the point 0 and 3 pi. And so option C is the answer to this question. If you want to try A is equal to 1, The function doesn't have a vertical asymptote at 3 pi, and there's two x-intercepts in the given region. And if you try a is equal to 2, the function doesn't have the vertical asymptote at 3 pi, and there's five x-intercepts in the given region. And so the answer to this question is going to be option C. How did you go? How many questions did you get correct? If you want to build your understanding of trig functions, then log into the Maths Methods Club and from the main topics select Functions and Graphs. And then from the subtopics select Trigonometric and Circular Functions. And to try multiple choice questions, go to Question Type and then select Multiple Choice. Here you're going to see 22 various trig function questions asked in the exams. See how many you can get correct. Good luck and I'll see you guys in the next video.